Um, the Excosa PU leather, imitation leather, 2012 Carl Urban Dread jacket. This came out last year as part of the Excosa Dread costume. Um, you get the trousers, you get the belt, you get the pouches, etc, etc. It's a really good representation of the 2012 jacket um, in that it apes it really well in terms of detail. Um, on the collar we have this popper fastening which brings the collar up. It's really good quality, thick stuff as well. It's, it's a step above fancy dress. It's not fancy dress quality, it is cosplay quality. It's got a full length zip. It has two popper fastenings there for the for the collar to pop it onto when you get it all complete. It's all stitched up, full length zip. The arm detail is faithfully replicated all the way down. It's partly lined inside. On the back, again, it follows quite good detail with the uh, elbow pads, but the elbow pads to make them more movie accurate need to be painted in a green acrylic paint. What I've chosen to paint the elbow pads in and the knee pads is this kind of acrylic green paint. So that will be applied to the elbow pads and weathered down a bit. Acrylic paint tends to be best because it holds better than other types of paint. So that's the green that you need for the elbow pads. Um, it came out last year, the suit, when I bought mine direct from China, it was 150 quid, but I see now on eBay, as it's become popular, the, the cost of the suit is now around about 160 pound upwards. Um, this is a medium sized one. So we'll take a look at the trousers in another video, as we'll unzip it, you can see it does get quite warm when you wear it so you need to wear just a t-shirt underneath it and as you can see it is kind of partially lined it is really good quality stuff right it's not going to fall apart it is really nice quality so that's the Excosa 2012 Carl Urban Dread jacket issued as part of the Dread costume last year. Really, really nice item.